you will always get the Pi Network update here first hand. Kindly subscribe and share our video to show appreciation for the good works. Are you frustrated because you can't perform KYC, or you applied but haven't been validated yet? Or your KYC process is still pending, then this update might be for you. First and foremost, more KYC validators are required. Increasing the number of successful KYC validations now depends primarily on the number of human validators in each local community. So, if you are already KYC verified on the Pi Network, we encourage you to apply to become a validator. The number of Pi Network KYC Ed pioneers expands the pool of potential validators. One of the reasons your KYC process is taking longer may be due to a lack of validators in your region. The core team has been working hard to scale Pi Network KYC, but there are other aspects of scaling that rely on pioneer participation, such as completing the KYC application process and applying to become validators, that is, once their KYC is approved, pioneers can apply to become validators to assist with KYC. To begin, the network randomly invites a number of pioneers to KYC each day. This contradicts what some pioneers have been writing me. They claim that the network only selects new pioneers for KYC while ignoring old pioneers. The network maintains randomness in queuing work for validators. This is a deliberate system design choice to prevent validator outwitty and complicity. Increasing the number of KYC invitations is technically simple, if it were easy, they would simply invite everyone. But, before they do so, they must ensure that the large volume of invitations does not cause clogs that slow down bootstrapping and overall system scaling. The core team has made significant system improvements in scaling machine automation, and can now process more PyCoin KYC applications than previously. Because of the world's diversity of languages and ID types, Pi Network KYC validation is a localized process that relies on the knowledge and familiarity of local Pi Network KYC validators. As a result, each country or region requires a sufficient number of validators to approve the KYC applications of other pioneers, bringing in more potential validators to the Pi Network KYC system. As a result, your KYC application may be delayed because there are fewer validators in your region. The core team members and chat moderators are working tirelessly to validate KYC applications from unbootstrapped locations, until a sufficient number of validators from those locations emerge. These choices have aided the system in covering those countries or regions that are still bootstrapping, and as a result, the number of bootstrapped countries or regions is steadily increasing. The PyCoin KYC system has so far bootstrapped the human validation workforce in 77 countries and regions, representing roughly 80% of the global population. What's next for the Pi Network KYC? Along with improving user experience and bootstrapping validation, the network will work to improve its validation algorithm so that more work can be automated by machines, reducing reliance on human validators. This will aid in scaling the Pi Network KYC solution to pioneers worldwide, regardless of region or background. On a final note, the Pi Network KYC infrastructure is constantly being improved, and technical bottlenecks are being removed along the way. This has resulted in significant increases in the network's ability to process KYC applications, and the good work will continue with Pioneer's enthusiastic participation. Subscribe and stay tuned for more updates.